What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Boobie Monday. I am Crystal Clear and let's go ahead and start off with a prayer. My dear new father, I thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for once again having everybody to come see another episode of Boobie Monday. Lord, I ask that you would just help me say the right words that I need to say. Bless people everywhere. Give the angels charge over them as well. And we give you all the honor, glory, and praise in Jesus name. Amen. I'm going to let you in on a little secret about me. I cannot stand change. Cannot stand change. I'm one of those people, I, I have to admit that, I'm one of those people who like things to stay the same most of the time. I'm not saying I completely hate change completely, but there's some things that I like to stay mostly the same. Like I like to have, to have a routine on things to do. I like to have, you know, a time schedule of free time when I can take my free time, when I can work, because my life is really hectic. So like when, when I have everything to me, when I have everything in control, I just like to have it in a balance. You know what I mean? I like to be in control of everything. Even though in life, sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Right now, I'm going through a, a, a terrible time period, a trial period, uh, with something that's going on with my job. And thanks, shout out to everybody that's been contacting me, um, keeping me in their prayers and wishing me well on a lot of things. No, I'm not fired, but I'm just saying I'm going through a, a tough time period with, with my job. And it seems like when you try to have everything set up, you know, in, in a certain way, something just comes and disrupts your flow. And I can't stand that. One thing I learned through my life that I cannot understand and cannot fathom is why things always have to come at me on a blindsided way to disrupt all my flow of everything that I do. My wife will tell you, one thing I told her, one thing I cannot stand is impromptu situations just blindsided me i always told people in my life i say yo if you're gonna tell me i'm gonna have a bad day tell me i'm gonna have a bad day don't just like blindside me with the with the situation that's gonna cause so much disruption i'm uncertain about how my future is going to be outside of you know salvation records salvation records is me is cool Everything is going great, but it seems like it's always when you got one thing in your life good There's always other things in your life. That's just goes crazy like everything cannot stay the same at once I don't know why and as much as I hate change Sometimes I got to understand that change also can be a good thing and that's my advice for you this week. I know you want things to stay the same, but sometimes God puts change in your life to disrupt something in your life to cause you to grow into a different realm of yourself. Like pretty much create something in you that you didn't even think that you have. For example, I'll give you a perfect example since I don't like change. I used to be a sales rep, loved the job. I loved, you know, the money that I had, but I knew that the money that I was making was not gonna be uh, sustainable for, for for when I was starting to have children. And when I had my first child, which was which was my boy, Sammy, I uh, I had to go ahead and leave the job that I actually loved to do another job that supplied me more money to sustain for my family. And I hated the process. I hated to relearn everything. But in essence, it was the thing that I needed to do. The change which was my son coming onto this earth I needed to make that same change to create a new normal for my life and for my family. So sometimes change is really good, you know what I mean? I hate the process, cannot stand the process, but change sometimes can be really good. Also, sometimes when you're in the monotony of the normalcy of everything staying the same, I think sometimes God allows change to happen not only to to create a new birth with inside of you but he also trying to make you understand that he is in control of everything that goes around you. I always said it many times God says two things in the situation what is God saying about you in the situation and how is God demonstrating his power through the situation so when you think about those two aspects 
It's always a disruption, and a lot of times blessings come in the form of disruption. There is never a time in my life when I could, when I really think about it, that blessings come at my convenience. You know what I mean? It's always a storm. It's always a trial. Every time I ask God for something, regardless if He gives it to me or not, there's always a trial process that I go through in order to get to where I'm going. Best example: Salvation Records. I wanted to do something with the Lord, and I wanted to do it in the form of music. So the God had to disrupt my life of pretty much monotony and me not doing something in my life. And he got me through my brother to help me to start writing, help me to start creating beats and help me to break out of my normal life and and, and having a more hectic life so I can learn how to balance everything and how to do what I need to do in order to become a, a, a tool for the Lord to, in order to, to do things for, for the world. You know what I mean? I know that was a long, long sentence, but it, it's, it's true. So like everything was, um, everything was, was it through a process. My writing was through a process. There's times I was frustrated when I was writing. It's through a process. But through the change in me, the and the wanting to change in me, it just it just continued to, to. It continued to help me to break uh break the mold of the of the ground and to create a new new me. So change is good, man. And as much as it, but change also, it just, it just, it just, it does drive me crazy, but it also, you have to be optimistic about the outcome of everything that's going to happen. Again, like I said, shout out to everybody that's been praying on me through the situation. I thank y'all. It shows you, like I said in the other episodes, sometimes the situation can show you who your real friends are. And sometimes it shows you who did not. And I thank everybody that responded, you know, and, and wished me well on on the situations that I'm going through. But embrace your change, man. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a hard process, but change can, like I said, it, it's, it can be terrible at times, but it's, it's really for your own good, no matter what, regardless if you caused it or if you didn't cause it. In the end, even if you didn't cause it, it's good, but if you did cause a situation that kind of stumbled you, you helped learn from that experience. So, in the end, change is good. As long as you walk away from it, change is good. No. Uh, numbers, I didn't really get to do numbers this week because I like I had a really hectic time this weekend. I didn't take no days off uh, this weekend because of the situation that's going on at my job, so I didn't get the numbers for you. But I will say that uh, Basic Instructions Before Leaving Nerf has eight songs done so far as far as recording we got uh, another session today with jay walk shout out to him and we're gonna do a couple songs with him on it today and you know I'm, this is a blessing it's a blessing even though i'm going through a time a trial with my job it's a blessing that i could still function to do other things and that's one of the hardest things about it it's like when you're going through changes you still got to function on your other stuff that you got to do so thank you, Jay Walsh, for coming in and uh, and helping me do that. You can catch my live stream sessions on Mondays. I uh, believe it's going to be 12 o'clock today. If not, you'll see it online later on Movement TV, M-U-V-M-I-N-T TV. And also you can see other videos. You can see, you know, other stuff that we've done. My brother's albums you can is out there he got some of the songs out there on movement tv and if you don't catch it on movement tv you can check my brother's album at salvrec.com s-a-l-v-w-r-e-c-k.com uh his album fade to black face in life has 34 wonderful tracks on there that he spent two years working on and i'm proud of him for doing that thank you for everybody for for the support and everything that y'all been giving us for throughout the courses of our music it's been a wonderful experience man it's i i can't i can't even describe how how this experience has been so so plentiful in my life to the point that it got people actually asking me questions about it some some people are asking questions about the lord which is good because i wanted to start a dialogue it's not the fact that you know you know you have to join jesus christ i mean jesus christ to me is the only way of living and you know, I try to be as much as Christ-like as I possibly can, but just to keep get people out of that dark zone of thinking, and just even just starting a dialogue about talking about Jesus, it's, 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 it's uplifting. You know what I mean? It shows me that God is working through 
through everybody, through their situation. And so, you know, I welcome the conversation. You see me on the street, you know, yeah, let's have a conversation about God. Because I can tell you my point of views all the time. And I can tell you some of the wrong thoughts that I have. So, and that might help you on your journey. So thank you guys for that. Also, let's see, other things that's online. You can also on the on the Southrack, uh, Southrack website, you can buy merchandise still. Uh, my brother has some ideas that's going on for this year, um, this year, 4th of July uh, parade and ceremony at the Longside Day. I believe that's in like the last week of June. I'm not too sure. I believe, I'm not too sure about that. I'll get back to you on that. But you know, we, all, we always have merchandise ready for you on southrack.com. We also have like, you know, our videos, like I said, live stream videos. Um, everything you pretty much what we do is gonna be off of that website. So check it out. You, I think you'll like it. My brother always keeps updating it. So, you know, that's always gonna be uh, updated. So we're not the type of people, he's not the type of person that will just like, you know, just um, pretty much leave it there and then don't go there for a few weeks. Now he's always updating stuff. That's the, that's the business aspect of him and what he wanted to accomplish in this life. So shout out to him for that. Uh, Fade the Black Face in Life is like I say, is out now. Bible's working on the, it's, it's, in, in the, it's in the staging process of being worked on. And also the Christmas album, we're gonna start doing recording. I believe it was May 25th for the Christmas album. I already had a uh, partial song written with my brother on one of the songs there. We rehearsed it over the past week and he thought it was real cool. So we are already just moving on from, even though we're doing my project, we're moving on to the next project. So, gotta keep moving, man. Gotta keep moving. Like I say, I don't like change, but I appreciate it because it shows me what I'm capable of, you know what I mean? So, um, I guess that's it for this week on, on Movement TV. Like I said, I'm sorry for rambling, but I'm just going through a terrible time right now. And I just ask y'all to keep me in prayer. Uh, keep me in prayer when I keep doing my uh, recordings on one day. Like I said, you're going to catch another recording today. Just keep me in prayer, man, because I always keep y'all in prayer. I always want the best for y'all. No matter what religion and stuff y'all follow through, y'all deal with y'all, y'all follow, I still want the best for y'all. You know what I mean? So just continue to pray for me as well. So with that, I'm going to let you go because I got some other stuff to do so I can prepare for this session today. Stay tuned, stay alert, and remember, always remember, you are the movement. You are the movement. And I thank you all for every day. And just continue to embrace change because it's going to come regardless if you're ready for it or not or if you're happy with it or not. Just learn how to go through the changing process. All right? Peace. Get going. Have a good week. All right? Bye.